There's a peacefulness about this river that's disrupted one day a year. It's been going on for 30 years. <laughs> the type of thing where a guy grabs a guitar, dozens more cast a line. Placement. That's the ideal thing. And they all carry on a tradition started when seven guys skipped work one Friday. It's, it's been all right every time. So. Scottville Sucker Fest, where they catch them. There you go, bud. Kiss them. <laughs> yeah. And cook them. And if there's one promise here, it's that this beauty with the kissing lips will have you licking your lips. The sucker burger is taste of its own. That's what brings the people here. But for an event founded on the principle of breaking the rules, you will of course find a rule breaker. I had one a couple years ago, so that gives you an idea. Scott Latimer. Um, no. <laughs> doesn't like the sucker burger. It's, had, like, it's almost like a filet of fish slash wild game. White fish. We won't say Scott's other half, we will say it wasn't pleasant. Maybe he's not used to eating fresh foods. So with the Zuckerberger's legion of support. A guy starts purring like a kitten when you eat one of these. Fred Malliott's kind of love, he's taking five home. Can you say that our sucker patties aren't any good? Look at this well, guy. <laughs> There's just one thing to do. Just need a sucker burger. Sit this sucker down and see if he'll change his mind. I won't gag. <laughs> and he says he won't lie. Just watch. That's good. That is very good. One changed heart, one sucker fest promise fulfilled. Yeah, we always say when we leave today, we say, well, we'll see you the last Friday of March in 2008. <laughs>
And that, he says, is still the best explanation he's had. 61 years later, it's magic. On Elk Lake, I'm Ben Kwan for Michigan This Morning. There's a bit of a hazard outside the Otsego County Courthouse, a yellow caution tape kind of dilemma. It doesn't look real safe. Gaylord's annual ice tree has taken on some deformities this frigid winter, but where county employee Bob Britt sees a problem. I think it's a big ice chunk. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> Others are seeing prophecy. What do I think it looks like? Kind of. It kind of reminds me, it has kind of an angelic quality, but at the same time it reminds me of um, Merlin. It was a day where the sun seemed to mock us, the cold so biting, passers-by hard to find. We went to see for ourselves whether an angel had really appeared. Not really. I didn't see it from any of the angles I stood at. I heard other people say that, but I, I can't see it myself. There were doubts as we dragged city employees outside to look. Some snapped pictures. I can see the angel once you show it to me. And buzz had spread about town enough for passing drivers to tilt their heads and look for themselves. I have to admit from this side it does kind of look like an angel. From the inside of the building it doesn't have quite that effect. But Perhaps our camera's presence alone helped convince the wary of the cherub in their midst, but we needed more so we looked for an expert across the street at the frame shop. Well, when we looked out the window it looked like an angel from this view. The shop's window frames it like fine art. You know, with the wings outspread and uh, kind of standing in, um, you know, classic Renaissance position. Our impromptu expert is an artist. For our skeptics, she offers proof. There's a circle in there and a kind of like an indication of a halo. The wing coming up, one coming down, and here's a shoulder, and then the robe coming down to a beautiful pedestal that wouldn't fit on my paper. There. You see it? Whether malfunction or miracle, if only they could market it. And we were just saying we should take a bunch of photographs and uh, sell them on eBay. <laughs> Everybody come to Gallard and see our ice angel. Maybe we have a new creation now.